All right, so today we're looking at place value, and this is the first lesson of fourth grade math. So the I can is I can define and find the place value of a digit in a number. So first let's look at the word or um, the term, words, place value. So place value is a very important concept. And the de definition of place value is the value of a digit based on its position in a number. Okay. And one item I want to um, utilize today is a place value chart. And place value charts are great to help learn place value. So we're gonna only look at whole numbers today. So let's go ahead and draw a chart. And we'll keep it um, simple. We'll only use four place values, right? So when you write down a number, whole number, think about money, um, you're going to start with your ones, right? So let's divide it up into four columns. Okay, and two rows. Okay, so on the right-hand side, I'm going to start with ones. So this place value is ones, okay? Then you have your tens. Okay, the next over is your hundreds. And the next place value over is your thousands. All right, skinnier each time. Whoops, I'm thinking fifth grade, thousands, not thousands. That's a very tall S. So you have your ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands, right? Okay, so first let's look at, I'm gonna change different colors. So depending on where I place the digit or a number, its value is gonna change. Okay, so let's look at, I'm gonna scooch this up a little bit. Let's look at, um, let's, let's look at three. If I place the three in this, um, right underneath the ones in this value, in this place, okay, this three goes right here. This is in the ones place. So the value of this three is one, is in the ones, it's three ones. So I can say three's value is three ones which is also equal to just three, okay? Let me go ahead and change it up. Let's try seven. If I place a seven here, we can read this number, it's 73, right? If I place a seven here, this seven is not seven ones, this seven is seven tens because it's in the tens place value. So I have seven tens, and we also know that as 70, right? It's in the tens place value. Okay, you should start to see a trend or a pattern. Let's look at the hundreds. Okay, let's say I have two in this place value. If you write a number in this place value right here, it's considered the hundreds. Okay, so I have two hundreds. And that is equal to 200. Okay, so each place value represents a different value and depending on where I place a digit, that value can change. If I place this two right here, it would not be two hundreds, it would be two tens or 20. If I place this three over here, it would be three thousands, not three ones, but three thousand, which is a very, very different number. One quick example to finish off our um, lesson on place value real quick. And this isn't a chart, you don't have to write this out. This is a check. Okay, let's say this check is written out and let's just say I write it out and my check says three. Okay, let's say it says $3. Now you think $3, huh, that's not a lot of money, right? It's just $3. How do I know it's $3? Well, commonly, if you just see a number without a decimal, you can automatically assume it's a whole number, right? Unless otherwise noted. So it's a $3 check. Now, let's say I add a zero. 
That's a little, that's a little nicer, right? That's 10 times the value of $3. That's $30. How do you know it's $30? Well, because the three is now in the tens place, okay? It's no longer in the ones place, it's in the tens place. And yes, I'm gonna add another zero. Whoa, okay. Now you have a $300 check. Now, why is this three keep changing? It's because its place value keeps changing. First it was in the ones, then it was in the tens, and now it's in the hundreds place value. This check just became $300 from $3. How did it change? Why did it change? Because its place value changed. I'm gonna add that decimal there so I can't keep adding those zeros, okay? So let's go back and review really quickly. The I can was I can define and find the place value of a digit in a number. So place value is the value of a digit based on its position in a number. And a good um, tool you can use is a place value chart, right? You can just label it. This is just um, whole numbers. So we have ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, the funny looking S. I can identify what value each digit is by looking at its place value using the hundred or the place value chart. So in this specific um, number 273, the three is in the ones place, the seven is in the tens place, and the two is in the hundreds place. And then an example of how place value can change is if you're looking at a check, and depending on how the number is written, it will change the value of the digit. This went from a $3 check to a $30 check to a $300 check, and then we stopped it by adding that decimal. Okay, yep, that's it.